Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the differences between synchronous and asynchronous machines. Generally, the rotating AC machines are two types. One is called synchronous machine and other one is called asynchronous alias induction machines you know very well. For example, these two are the machines are motors, synchronous motor and asynchronous motor. I am trying to explain the differences between these two. Okay. So, generally synchronous motor, that's why we need to give the three-phase AC supply here. Here the three-phase AC supply given to the stator. As well as here also I given three-phase AC supply. When the three-phase AC supply given to the stator, then immediately the magnetic field will be produced in the three-phase winding. What happened here? The magnetic field will be produced. The magnetic field is nothing but simply the formation of poles. For example, two pole machine, north pole, south pole. For example, four pole machine, north, south, north, south, like that. Formation of poles will be takes place here. North pole and south pole, north pole and south pole, like a, the poles will be created. Of course, these poles will move in clockwise direction. These are not a stationary poles. This is not a stationary magnetic field. This is the magnetic field which rotating in clockwise direction with some speed. That speed, especially the speed of the Magnetic field, the speed of the stator magnetic field is simply termed as synchronous speed. Nothing but when the three phase AC supply given to the stator, then immediately rotating magnetic field will be created which rotates in clockwise direction with uh, some speed is called synchronous speed. This is called my stator rotating magnetic field. This is also my stator rotating magnetic field. Up to this same. Then after. Actually, here the rotor also connected to a DC supply which is called excitation. The field winding excited by the DC supply. When this is given to the field winding, then automatically here also poles will be created or magnetic field will be created like a south pole and north pole. This is also rotating magnetic field which rotates in clockwise direction with the same speed which is called synchronous speed. Due to, due to interaction of these two are simply, see here, due to this north pole and south pole, the attraction force, due to this attraction force, these two are rotating in the same direction with some same speed. Then after, this attraction force will be converted as a magnetic locking or magnetic coupling which is called magnetic locking between stator poles with the rotor poles. Then the rotor constantly rotates at our synchronous speed. Actually, of course, the synchronous motor is not a self-starting motor. We need to rotate the rotor in the same direction with same speed. Then after we need to give the DC supply. When poles created, the attraction force will be developed in between these two. The attraction force will be converted into magnetic locking. After this magnetic locking, without any help, the rotor will rotate in clockwise direction with speed is called synchronous speed. Nothing but due to this magnetic locking, the rotor will rotate at synchronous speed in our synchronous machine. Coming to here, there is no any separate excitation for our rotor. Actually, when this stator flux with the, when this stator flux links with the rotor stationary conductors, then EMF will be developed in the rotor. 
when there is a short circuit of this rotor when we have a path for current then some rotor current will flows in the rotor which creates the magnetic field that magnetic field also a rotating magnetic field of rotor which rotates in clockwise direction with some speed is called synchronous speed due to interaction of these two fluxes the torque will be developed in the rotor due to that torque the rotor also tries to rotates in clockwise direction sir why it will rotates in clockwise direction i already explained in the synchronous sorry induction machine according to lenz law only it has to rotate in clockwise direction it has to oppose the relative motion in order to reduce the relative motion my rotor has to rotate in clockwise direction so finally my rotor will rotate in clockwise direction but that rotor speed not equal to synchronous speed here the rotor speed equal to synchronous speed but here the rotor speed not equal to synchronous speed here we have a magnetic coupling magnetic locking between stator and rotor but there is no any magnetic locking of course the stator magnetic field which rotates in clockwise direction with synchronous speed due to interaction of fluxes torque produced of course the torque will try to rotate the rotor of course but due to mechanical inertia due to air friction bearing friction the rotor of course tried to catch the synchronous speed but it unable to cut the synchronous speed that's why generally the rotor speed not equals to synchronous speed in our induction machine the machine in which the rotor speed equal to synchronous speed that machine is called synchronous machine the machine in which the rotor exactly not equal to synchronous speed that machine is called the induction machine if it is exactly equal synchronous if it is exactly not equal induction machine this is the main differences between these two then after generally here we have a synchronous generator synchronous generator alias alternator and synchronous motor we have a two types of machines here synchronous motor synchronous generator of course whatever it may be it is a synchronous generator or synchronous motor in both the cases the rotor speed exactly equal to synchronous speed no doubt at all coming to here of course here equal nothing but equal not equal nothing but less or more yes we have a two questions here not equal not equal nothing but if it is less not equal of course if it is more than that of course not equal right so so here also we have a two types of machines two modes of operation one is called induction generator and other one is called induction motor what is induction generator in which the rotor speed is greater than the synchronous speed that machine is called induction generator if the rotor in which the rotor speed is less than the synchronous speed that machine is called induction motor this is the main differences so what is synchronous speed actually the speed of the stator magnetic field how we can calculate the synchronous speed very simple we have a basic formula that theta electrical is equals to p by 2 times of the theta mechanical i hope everyone you people know this formula theta electrical i am written i am i am writing in omega omega electrical is equals to p by 2 times of pair of poles times of omega mechanical what is omega in electrical that is 2 pi f is equals to p by 2 times of what is omega in mechanical 2 pi n by 60 this 2 pi 2 pi gets cancel i want the speed so try to capitalize the ns ns is equals to 120 f by p 
here f is the stator frequency or supply frequency so the synchronous speed value ns is equals to 120 f by p of course the f is the supply frequency which is called stator frequency what about p p is the number of poles for some lessons one query here sir number of poles of the stator or rotor some intelligence fellows will ask this question okay so tell me is the number of poles so we need to take from stator or rotor generally in our ac machine whatever the machine of course the number of poles in the stator 100% equal to number of poles in the rotor if the number of poles in the stator and rotor not equal then the speed of the machine zero clear so this is the number of poles now now if uh, for example a 50 hedge uh, machine which having four six number of poles six poles can you calculate synchronous speed the synchronous speed is equals to 120 f by p six ones are six twenties are 2050 is a thousand so thousand rpm is my synchronous speed if my rotor rotates at thousand rpm that is called a synchronous machine if my rotor rotating at more than thousand rpm slightly more than thousand rpm that machine is called induction generator if my machine rotating at slightly less than thousand for example 970 rpm that is called induction motor that is called induction motor this is the main differences between the synchronous and asynchronous machines of course where we are using this synchronous generator of course in hydroelectric power plant in thermal power plant in nuclear power plant what we are using the synchronous generators whereas in wind power plant in tidal power plant what we are using the induction generator where the speed is not constant where the speed is constant coming to synchronous motor of course its starting torque is zero nothing but these are not a self starting machines of course here the starting torque not zero of course these are the self started motors there is no any starting methods here we need a starting methods of course in this the frequency is constant of course here the frequency not constant these are the alternators are directly connected to the power grid but here the induction generators are connected to the power grid by frequency converters we need to use frequency converters in between the generators and power grid these are the basically the differences between what synchronous and asynchronous machines guys here we need to like a look on the ns is equal to 120f by p this formula few questions they will ask you on this formula let's see how they will ask you questions on this formula in the next video